Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x squared minus xy. This is equal to 14. Let's call this equation 1. And y squared plus xy, this is equal to 60. Let's call this equation 2. So what is the value of x and what is the value of y? So let's provide a solution here. We have x squared. Now from equation 1, which is x squared minus xy, this is equal to 14. So now, let's take x squared on the right-hand side so that we have minus xy, this is equal to 14, subtract x squared. Now, let's divide both signs by minus so that we have xy is equal to, now this is the same thing as x squared minus 14. Let's call this equation 3. From equation 3 here, let's make y to be the subject of the formula. We have from this equation 3, let's make y to be the subject of the formula. So let's divide both signs by x so that now y, this is the same thing as x squared divided by x minus 14 divided by x. So let's simplify here. We have that y is equal to x subtract 14 over x. So let's call this equation 4. The next step from here, let's add equation 1 with equation 2. Now from equation 1, we have x squared minus xy plus y squared plus xy this is equal to 14 plus 60. So this means that we have x squared here minus xy plus y squared plus xy. This is equal to 14 plus 60, which is equal to 74. Now from this equation here, minus xy plus xy simplifies so that now we have x squared plus y squared, this is equal to 74. Now, the next step from here, let's multiply both signs by x to the power of 2, so that we have x to the power of 2. Into the parentheses, we have x to the power of 2, plus y to the power of 2, this is equal to 74, multiplied by x to the power of 2. Now, let's open the parentheses here, x times x squared to the times x squared, this is x to the power of 4, then plus x to the power of 2 times y to the power of 2, this is equal to 74, x to the power of 2. Now, x squared times y squared, this is in the form of a to the power of n times b to the power of n, which we can express as a times b raised to the power of n. Applying this exponent property, then here we have x to the power of 4 plus xy raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 74 x to the power of 2. Now, from equation 3, from equation 3, which is xy is equal to x squared minus 14. Let's substitute xy with x squared minus 14. So let's substitute here with xy, which is x squared minus 14. So we have x to the power of 4 plus x squared minus 14 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 74, x to the power of 2. The next step from here, we can open this parenthesis here x squared minus 14 to the power of 2. This is in the form of a minus b raised to the power of 2, which we can express as a squared plus b squared subtract 2ab. Applying this algebraic identity, then here we have x to the power of 4 plus, now here we have x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2, then we have plus 14 squared, which is 196 then subtract 28, 
x to the power of 2. This is equal to 74 x to the power of 2. Now, let's take 74 x to the power of 2 on the left hand side. So that here we have x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2. This is x to the power of 4. Then plus 196 subtract 28 x to the power of 2 minus 74 x to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. Now, x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 4. This is 2 x to the power of 4. Then plus 196. Then subtract. This is the same thing as 1 or 2 x to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. Now, from here, we can rearrange this as 2x to the power of 4 minus 102 x to the power of 2 plus 196. This is equal to 0. Now, we can divide everything here by 2. So that now, 2 and 2 here simplifies so that we have x to the power of 4 subtract 102 divided by 2, which is 51 x to the power of 2, then plus 196 divided by 2, and this is equal to 98, this is equal to 0. Now, we have x to the power of 4, subtract, we can express 51 x to the power of 2 as minus 49 x to the power of 2, then subtract 2 to the 2 x to the power of 2, plus 98, this is equal to 0. Now we have two parts here. We have two parts here for this quadratic equation here. So we have that x to the power of 4. This can be expressed. Remember, x squared is common here. So we can factor out x to the power of 2 into the parentheses. This is x squared minus 49. Then subtract. Now from the second part here, we have that 2 is common here. So we can factor out 2. So that we have x squared minus 49. This is equal to 0. So x squared minus 49 is common here. So we can factor out this as x squared minus 49. And then we have x squared minus 2. So we have x squared minus 2. This is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. We have x squared minus 49 this is equal to 0 and we have x squared minus 2 this is equal to 0 now from the first part here we have x squared this is equal to 49 so to solve for x here we introduce a square root on both sides we have the square root of x squared this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 49 so let's eliminate the square root sign here so that we have x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 49 ways, which is 7. So we have x1 is equal to 7 and we have that x2 is equal to minus 7. Now, from the second part here, we have x squared minus 2. This is equal to 0. We have x squared minus 2 this is equal to 0 so this means that x squared is equal to 2 to solve for x here we introduce a square root on both sides that is square root of x squared this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 2 so let's simplify here so that now x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 2 and this implies that here we have x3 this is equal to root 2 and we have x4 this is equal to minus root 2 now we have x1 is equal to 7 x2 is equal to minus 7 x3 is root 2 and x4 is minus root 2 so we can solve the corresponding values of y now if you recall from equation 4, 
that is from equation 4 we have that y is equal to x minus 14 over x this is equation 4 here now let's start with x1 let's solve for the value of y1 so we have y1 is equal to 7 subtract 14 over 7 so this means that 14 divided by 7 this is 2 and 7 minus 2 this is equal to 5 so we have that x1 comma y1 this is equal to we have 7 comma 5 so this is the first set of solution that we have now let's solve for y2 y2 is equal to x2 subtract 14 over x2 so this means that y2 is equal to x2 is minus 7 minus 14 over minus 7 so this implies that here here we have minus 7 plus 2 and this is equal to minus 5 so we have x2 comma y2 this is equal to minus 7 comma minus 5 this is the second set of solution that we have for this algebra problem now let's solve for y3 y3 will be equal to x3 subtract 14 over x3 so this implies that we have y3 is equal to x3 is root 2 minus 14 divided by root 2 now here we have y3 is equal to root 2 minus 14 we can express 14 as 2 multiplied by 7 divided by root 2 we now we have y3 is equal to root 2 minus 14 over root 2 now this is the same thing as root 2 minus 14 14 is the same thing as 2 times 7 divided by root 2 we can express 2 2 is the same thing as square root of 2 multiplied by square root of 2 so this means that y3 is equal to root 2 minus root 2 multiplied by root 2 multiplied by 7 divided by root 2 so let's simplify here root 2 and root 2 simplifies so that now we have y3 is equal to root 2 subtract 7 root 2 and this is equal to minus 6 root 2 and this implies that x3 comma y3 this is the same thing as root 2 comma minus 6 root 2 now this is the third set of solution that we have let's proceed to solve for the value of y4 which is x4 subtract 14 over x4 so y4 will be equal to x4 x4 in this case is minus root 2 subtract 14 14 can be expressed as 2 times 7 divided by root that is minus root 2 so in this case we have minus root 2 plus now in this case here we have 2 equal to root 2 times root 2 so this means that here we have root 2 times root 2 times 7 over minus root 2 so root 2 and root 2 here simplifies minus and minus here simplifies so that now here we have minus root 2 plus 7 root 2 and this implies that here we have minus root 2 plus 7 root 2 this is equal to 6 root 2 and therefore we have x4 comma y4 this is equal to minus root 2 comma 6 root 2 now this is the fourth set of solution for this algebra problem so can you follow the steps like this video 
and kindly subscribe please like this video and kindly subscribe see you in the next video bye bye for now